Please read important safety information before watching this video. The stator is the front portion of the valve containing the ports. The rotor seal is behind the stator and forms the liquid seal between the ports of the valve. If either of these parts is damaged, then aspiration or sample delivery issues can occur. To remove the stator and rotor seal for cleaning or replacement, remove all fittings from the valve. Using a 3 mm hex wrench, remove the three stator bolts. Carefully remove the stator from the valve body. Carefully remove the rotor seal from the valve body. Inspect the rotor seal and stator for damage or wear. Sonicate the stator in 100% methanol for 10 minutes with the sealing side facing up. Replace the rotor seal with a new one. Position the rotor seal so that the sealing side faces out away from the valve body. Align the two bolt holes and drive pin and place the new rotor seal in the valve body. The rotor seal can only fit into the valve in one orientation. Align the stator so that the bolt holes align with the pins on the valve body and press the stator onto the valve body. Place one of the bolts into the bolt hole and tighten the bolt until slight resistance is felt. Repeat with the other two bolts. Tighten the first bolt completely. There are built-in stops so that the stator cannot be tightened too tight. Repeat with the other two bolts. Inspect the gap between the valve body and the stator. There should not be a gap. Replace the fittings on the valve. Using the auto sampler configuration window, click the direct control tab, injection valve group, and switch the valve position between inject and load 10 times to set the valve stops. Perform a system wash of 1000 microliters. After clicking start, wait until the auto sampler is idle then click OK to close the configuration window.